welcome to god's word fellowship i'm gerald santiago and we are studying about the dominion of christ let's pray father we come to you in the name of our lord jesus father we thank you for your holy written word father we thank you for your great love for us father we thank you so much you sent our lord jesus christ to die on the cross as the lamb of god father we thank you so much that our lord jesus was wounded for our transgressions bruised for our iniquities father we thank you the king of glory was crowned with the crown of thorns so that we can be blessed and father we thank you for it father we appreciate it father you are worthy of all praise honor and glory Father we appreciate you we thank you we love you father you are good and your mercy endures forever father we pray you teach us your word father we pray you reveal our lord jesus christ in a greater way father we pray you draw us to a closer deeper stronger relationship with our lord jesus christ Father we thank you for answers and solutions Father we thank you for word in due season Father we pray you stretch out your hand and heal and that signs and wonders be done and Father we pray your healing anointing drive out every form of sickness and every form of disease Father we pray your anointing break every yoke remove every burden break every chain Father we thank you so much you heard and answered our prayers Father in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ we pray amen Hallelujah Hallelujah to Jesus Hallelujah to Jesus we serve an awesome God we serve a glorious God we serve El Shaddai Hallelujah I would like to read a particular verse in Psalms before we uh, go to the text go with me to Psalm 24 Psalm 24 Hallelujah this is a beautiful song it is about uh, the second coming of our Lord Jesus Psalm 22 is about the cross Psalm 23 is about our Lord Jesus being our good shepherd in this earth in this life and Psalm 24 is about the second coming of our Lord Jesus so towards the end of the chapter it says this verse 7 lift up your heads O ye gates and be ye lift up you everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in who is this king of glory the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle lift up your heads o ye gates even lift them up you everlasting doors the king of glory shall come in who is this king of glory the lord of hosts he is the king of glory Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. Our Lord Jesus is the King of glory. Our Lord Jesus is strong and mighty. Our Lord Jesus is mighty in battle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. Keep these thoughts in your mind and go with me to second, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. Let's go to verse 20 and 21. I'm sorry, 21 and 22. For since by man, that is Adam, came death, by man, the second Adam, our Lord Jesus Christ, came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Say alive, alive. In Adam there is death, there is curse there is evil there are all the other consequences of the fallen nature right all the consequences of the fall the oppression of the devil hallelujah you have all sorts of evil as a result of adam's fall so in adam you have death in its various manifested forms hallelujah uh, but in jesus in jesus all shall be made alive alive right see through adam because of the fall the devil brought havoc 
on the planet right go with me to john the book of john through adam's fall uh, go um, before we go there go with me to romans romans hallelujah romans chapter 5 let's read verse 12 so that you will understand the context of this verse 12 wherefore as by one man sin entered into the world and death by sin and you see sin came first and sin is the door for death you understand this without sin death cannot enter into the world god didn't make the world filled with death or curse right adam sin opened the door for death right so keep those thoughts in mind and go with me to john john chapter 10 verse 10 here our lord jesus is revealing something the thief talking about the devil comes not but for to steal to kill and to destroy so through adam's sin the devil had you know access in this world to steal to kill and to destroy but then jesus came and through jesus the works of the father the heavenly father was cut loose into this planet hallelujah hallelujah to jesus through jesus life was released anybody who believes in jesus life will come to them blessing will come to them glory will come to them hallelujah jesus said this i am come that they might have life and they they might have it more abundantly hallelujah hallelujah to jesus why did jesus come so that we might have life life doesn't mean just living right life doesn't even just uh, mean eternal life it, life includes all of god's blessing eternal life and all of god's blessing hallelujah hallelujah to jesus remember that why did jesus come he came that we might have life eternal life everlasting life and all of god's blessing hmm? keep that thought in mind go with me to genesis chapter 3 you know man fell and god was passing judgment on the sin of man and uh, while he was passing judgment first he spoke to the serpent i mean uh, the woman and then the serpent right let's look at that let's read uh, genesis chapter 3 verse 14 and the lord said unto the serpent because thou hast done this thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field upon your belly shalt thou go and dust shalt thou eat all the days of your life and then he speaks to the devil he says this i'll put enmity between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed talking about jesus her seed this is where our lord jesus announced the virgin birth for the very first time notice jesus is not called a man's seed jesus is called her seed indicating pointing to the virgin birth it shall bruise your head jesus will bruise the head of the devil and thou shall bruise his heel god declared war against the devil the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle the king of glory declared war against the devil but this war what was kind of <laughs> was fought in a different way because of the fall of adam see it was not like the normal war right you 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 read in the bible about angelic wars you know michael and his angels fighting against the devil that's one type of war we have heard about war between uh, one nation and an another nation in our planet but because through man came death through man life resurrection should come right and through that life would be released into this planet hallelujah so god had to wage this war in a different way in a different way right so let's go to philippians philippians 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I want you to keep remembering this verse. Who is this King of Glory? Who is this King of Glory? Remember that. Hallelujah. Right? The Lord of Hosts. He is the King of Glory. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Hmm? You know, today we know that battle can be waged in different places. Right? It can be waged in the battlefield. It can be waged in the media. It can be waged in, um, you know, classrooms. <laughs> right? Battle of ideologies and so on. So, we, we know that uh, battles can be waged in different manner. Right? Now, um, look at this verse. Hallelujah to Jesus. Go with me to Philippians chapter 2, verse 7. Let's start from verse 6. Who being in the form of God, talking about our Lord Jesus, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation. Right? He laid aside his godly powers, his godly privileges, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of man. Why? Because through man, life should be released in the planet. Through man, resurrection should be made av available. Since by man came death, by man, life will be loosed upon earth. Hallelujah. Verse 8. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Hallelujah. This is how our Lord Jesus waged a war against the devil. It is a strategic war. It was a war about which the devil had no clue. He had no idea. He didn't know what God was doing. When Jesus died on the cross, he thought he defeated Jesus. He thought he has foiled the plan of God and has achieved a great victory against God. He really did. Go with me to 2 Corinthians, no, 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and look at this verse. Let's read from verse 7. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom, which God ordained before the world unto our glory. God had uh, ordained this mighty redemption for us before the world, right? So that we can have glory, underline that, for our glory. Underline our glory which none of the princes of this world knew. Talking about the devil. For had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Notice, Jesus was crucified, but who were they crucifying? They were not crucifying a helpless man. They were crucifying the Lord of glory. Say the Lord of glory. Right? The one who was upon the cross was the Lord of glory. Why was the Lord of glory allowing mere men right, to hit him on the face? Why is the Lord of glory allowing people to talk against him, rail against him, revile him, mock him, spit on him. Why is the Lord of glory allowing a crown of thorns upon his head? Why is the Lord of glory allowing himself to be crucified on the cross which was reserved, the death on the cross was reserved for the most, most vile criminals? Why is the Lord of glory accepting this shameful death? Why? Why? 
because he wanted to crown you with glory he wanted to crown you with blessings he wanted to crown you with life that's what jesus was saying i came that they might have life and have it more abundantly more abundantly hallelujah notice this verse 9 but as it is written i has not seen nor ear heard neither have entered into the heart of man the things which god has prepared for them that love him hallelujah god had prepared eternal blessings god had prepared blessings for man on this earth god had prepared every spiritual blessing all things required for life all <laughs> all things required for godliness every aspect of your life was covered god wanted you to be soaked in life go with me to this particular um, verse in psalm 8 psalm 8 this was the original condition of man when God made him. What is man that thou art worse for, that thou art mindful of him, the son of man that thou visitest him? For thou hast made him a little door than angels, as we said already. This word which has been translated as angels is actually Elohim. Right? So it's talking about God. Man was made little lower than God. The remaining part of the verse, it reads... Um, and has crowned him with glory and honor. Thou made him to have dominion over the works of your hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet. God wanted to restore this to man. God wanted to restore this to man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. So he was willing to do anything it took to accomplish this jesus said something like this let's let's look at this go go with me to john chapter 10 he talks about him right hallelujah to jesus hallelujah to jesus verse 7 john chapter 10 verse 7 then said jesus unto them again Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out and find pasture. Right? The thief comes not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Now how is God going to accomplish this? I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. That's how Jesus accomplished it. By giving his life on the cross for us. That's how he ensured that we can have life and have it more abundantly. Why was the king of glory? Why was the Lord of glory crucified on the cross? Why did he receive a crown of thorns? Why? Go with me to Galatians. Galatians chapter 3. Verse 13. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. God wanted you to have the blessing. So he was willing to put the curse that was supposed to come upon us, upon Jesus. Do you know what 
what was the result of the curse on the earth you remember that go with me to the book of genesis genesis chapter 3 notice this is the judgment that was spoken upon adam verse 17 and and to adam he said because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of your wife and hast eaten of the tree of which i commanded thee saying thou shall not eat of it notice this cursed is the ground for your sake in the saw so, in sorrow shall thou eat of it all the days of your life thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee and thou shall eat the herb of the field notice this thorns and thistles They, 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 there was no thorns before the curse. God did not make thorns. Right? Thorns were a result of the judgment. Right? Uh, I should say God did not make thorns in the original plan. There was no thorns before the fall. That, that's a better way to say it. Right? Um, thorns. Thorns. were a result of the curse of the judgment that came upon man for his sin and jesus took those thorns on his head the lord of glory the king of glory instead of wearing a crown of glory wore a crown that represented curse and judgment upon the cross do you see this keeping these thoughts in mind go with me to isaiah isaiah chapter 53 isaiah 53 hallelujah to jesus let's read from verse 4 surely he has borne our griefs this is sick grief is uh, is the word for sickness actually and carried our sorrows and sorrows is the word for pain this verse should read surely he has borne our sickness and carried our pains can you imagine the king of glory the lord of glory being afflicted with sickness and and experiencing pain yet we did esteem him stricken smitten of god and afflicted but he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon jesus and with his stripes we are healed see this is why the king of glory was willing to suffer on the cross he wanted our sins forgiven he wanted us to have life the eternal life and the a blessed life on the planet on the earth hallelujah hallelujah to jesus the king of glory literally received the crown of thorns so that you and i can be blessed blessed spiritually blessed in this life blessed forever hallelujah hallelujah to jesus hallelujah to jesus glory be to god hallelujah thank you so much for listening god bless you jesus is coming soon